All right, knife nerds. We're going to do an unboxing here, and I have not seen the knife yet. I saw it on Amazon, and I was like, I need that knife. I need to review that knife. So um, I have high expectations, but unlike a lot of my videos where I open it up and I kind of look at it beforehand to get an idea of what I want to talk about, I've not done that. So this is going to be an actual reaction and see if the reality aligns with uh, my expectations and the hype. So as you know, you know, I've got really nice knives. I've got, you know, this is just one example, but this is one I think is going to compare well to this. My uh, clap from steel uh, or from um, Lion Steel, you know, $250 knife, really nice titanium, M390, all that kind of good stuff. But I'm a, you know, you've seen a lot of my videos. I love the bargain knives. I love the 50 and under, which is where this brand typically plays. And this is where I think this is going to be a little bit of a game changer for this brand. So I love my artisan cutlery, um, serious, you know, most of these knives here are running D2 blade steel. Um, the Kaiser, uh, Kaiser K is the smoothest knife I've ever known, I ever owned out of any brand. I mean, it, it is just absolutely beautifully executed, beautifully machined G10, 154 CM blade, um, just really, really nice, wicked, wicked slicer, incredible ergos. It's an $80 knife. You know, I love the sub 100 uh, budget category. You know, this was 55 or $58 or something like that. Beautiful again, G10, uh, ball bearings, really, really nice, sweet action. You've got your CJRB Scoria, beautiful Micarta, machine titanium clip. Um, this is their proprietary RPM nine or something like that, which basically D2. Most of these are D2 with the exception of, of these two. You've, uh, well, this one actually doesn't have D2 either. This one's got the 14 C 27, whatever it is, the Sandvik steel. And this is my Citos from Civivi. Beautiful burlap Micarta. I mean, amazing freaking grinds, beautiful, beautiful blade, super sweet action, nice lock. The uh, Civivi Drifter 2. This, I think, is Nitro V with an awesome, awesome clip point with a really, really sweet hollow grind, carbon fiber, and Micarta. So this is the, this is, these are all in the sub-100. That's like $70. This was like $60-something or maybe $70 front flipper. I think I may have found the holy grail and the most amazing sub-$100 knife on the market of any brand, bar none. And I know that that's a bold statement. Am I gonna be right or am I gonna look like a fool? Well, we're gonna find out. So this is the Citivian, another Chinese blade off of Amazon. It's the ST995. They're saying M390 carbon fiber titanium. This was $69. Let's see. All right. Minimal packaging. Okay. Good. Save a few bucks there. Put it into the knife. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's, oh, I like that action. And, ooh, I like that blade. I got to find out who owns Citivian. Because this is three and a half ounces. It's a 3.38 inch blade. Overall length is seven and five eighths. So right in that sweet spot of EDC. For its size, it is light. I am inclined to believe that that is actually titanium. That knife does not feel like the size Three and a half ounces for damn near three and a half inch blade. And it's a fairly tall blade. That's a flat grind all the way up with a little bit of a swedge. It's kind of a drop point. I don't know if that would quite be a spear point, but it's it's right in there. It does have a small fuller. I don't know if that is enough to allow if you want to sit there and do a... Eh, well, you can, I guess, with a little practice. Do the uh, reverse flick. It's, it is kind of shallow, so it's hard if you don't have a good nail right there. But it is a flipper, but it's nice and unobtrusive, which is nice. It's got a very strong detent, so that is not going to 
come out on its own. But when it, uh, you just push it, do the light switch, and that just flies open, gives you just that little bit. Nice little uh, little choil there. Not enough really to use as a finger choil, but it says M390. That is what they're claiming. And I know people are going to say, well, how do you know it's China? Dude, China's making so many good knives these days. Any of the brands that I've seen, um, Civivis, Artisans, stuff like that, that have been sent off um, to have the, the metal tested to make sure it's A, the type of metal that they claim it is, but also to ch check the uh, the hardness. They've come back as legit, man. You know, it's it's they load a bunch of materials into a CNC machine and the Chinaman hits uh, enter on the computer and, and cranks these things out. Tension, a little on the light side, but that's okay. I don't want to tear it up my pocket. What's nice is the that machine clip, no hotspot. Doesn't even register. That feels really good. No hotspot whatsoever. I can just get a full hand on that. That is a phenomenal looking knife. I, I really, so I knew it was going to be better looking than any of these. When you start throwing in titanium, I like the uh, the, the, the anodized piece there um, around the uh, pivot. No blade wobble. It's fairly thick blade stock too. That's th You feel the weight of this thing and you're like, it's, it's a little blade heavy. The balance is a little bit forward. Although, well, actually, you know what? It doesn't feel like that because the balance point's right about there so i guess it's not blade forward but the handle feels so light maybe it's a perception thing the handle for all of it you know having a liner in there you got titanium the carbon fiber it just feels like it would be tip heavy but when you look at the actual balance point it's actually back a bit so maybe there's some weight down here that's steel i don't know but you'd have your lanyard hole which is hidden that's how i like them i don't like it when people just drill a hole even here on the 250 dollars knife you, uh, to me, you kind of ruin that aesthetic when you just drill a hole through the freaking knife. Why I brought this one out was, you know, I knew just by looking at this that this was probably going to blow away any of my value knives under 100 But I wanted to bring it out and compare it to this. Why? Because they're both claiming M390 steel. Now, you may say, well, the lion steel is more proven. Uh, okay, but until someone tests this and tells me it's bogus... You know, I'm not buying it. This is this is a, a well, you know, everything else I've seen from them has been legit. It's titanium. They both got similar blades. This one's a little taller. About the same thickness, but this is going to have a thinner edge. The grind goes up all the way. Both have machine titanium pocket clips. Both have titanium on the bolster area. This one has micarta. This one has carbon fiber. This is $70. This is $250. That is amazing. This one feels, and again, it could be perception. This feels just a tiny bit lighter than this. It may be because this one's a little bit smaller, so the weight is a little more concentrated into a smaller piece. But it really feels like this might be just a tiny bit heavier. This is on bronze washers. This is on bearings. Blade centering on this, perfect. So is the lion steel, but I would expect a $250 knife to be perfect in that regard. I am freaking floored. This may be my new favorite knife. I mean, look at that thing. This is a $70 knife. And if that, again, and I have no reason to believe that that is not M390 steel. I have not seen that company get caught lying. They've done some machining out of the liner. So while that liner may be stainless steel, they have some cutouts in there to lighten it. This is a wicked, wicked shape. There's no hot spots. It fits your hand. Now, there's no jimping up here. Trying to think if there was any on this. No, there wasn't any on this one either. So, you know, if you like jimping, but this is an absolutely gorgeous knife. I'm feeling these edges here. And this is where usually you'll feel, you know, where some of the corners are cut. But I'm looking at the scales and how there's a uniform gap. When you look at the scale and then you see the liner, there's a uniform 
border all the way around. It's consistent. These edges are all rounded. They are beveled. There's no, the transitions going from the titanium here to the carbon fiber. There's no gaps. I am floored by this knife. This is absolutely astounding. It's light. The action is sweet. Will it cut? Yeah. That is a really sharp edge. Does it do a push test? Yup. <laughs> that is... I mean... That is a really wicked razor sharp edge. And if that is properly treated M390, and I have no reason to think that it isn't, I can't think of any knife under $100 that I would rather own. Pardon my French, but I am, I am, I am fucking floored at this knife. I, I, you know, I, I just happened to see it scroll by on, on Amazon. And I was like, wow, that's expensive for a Sativian because normally they're under $30. And I've reviewed a bunch of them and they're stout little knives. <laughs> And I saw that and I'm like, M390? Titanium and carbon fiber? Three and a half ounces? Uh, the pictures looked phenomenal. I didn't see a lot of reviews on it. So I'm guessing it's one of their newer models. And I'm like, oh, daddy's got to have that. Lockup's good. Unlocking's easy. Really sweet action. That detent is a little strong but it makes that thing just fly right out the jimping is fairly wide so you get traction but it doesn't really wear on your finger i mean i don't know if you sat there fidgeting for an hour maybe no blade wobble nothing <laughs> I, I, i'm almost at a loss for words how the hell do they do this for 70 freaking dollars that is a gorgeous effing knife. I mean, I love my MKM clap. This is a Bob Terzola design. I love the size, but it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit thick and chunky for a small knife. This has about the same mass, but it makes it a little thinner and taller. It makes it a little bit bigger to sit in the hand instead of being smaller and denser. One thing with the flipper here, see how that hooks back? When you use that, that corner is pushing into my finger as opposed to it being scalped away. You still have something there with that little bit of grip. So if you were to push into something, you know, it widens enough that it acts like a finger guard, but it curls away from my finger. So when I grab that, there's a gap. There's nothing pushing into my knuckle. This angles back, which when it's a, oops, a smaller grip like that, that corner does push. Now it's not terribly uncomfortable because it's somewhat rounded, but I think if I was really using this, like right there, it is pushing against my finger. This is freaking amazing. I, I don't know what else to say. They knocked it out of the goddamn park. Look at the detail. I, I shot this one in 4K, so it'll take a little longer to process because I was like, you know what? If this thing's as good and as detailed as I think it is, I want you to see that detail. Look at that. Beautiful grinds, beautiful edge, nice fuller, really precise. I like that little bit of swedge. That is a good working knife that is elegant. It, it, it is a beautiful, beautiful knife. And I know I'm just sitting here throwing adjectives at this. I get it. I really am floored. I really am just amazed at what $70 bought me. This is probably going to be my new favorite knife. I've been carrying this a lot, carrying my, my Towser. As nice as these are, in the same price range. And these are, fan you gotta understand, these are fantastic knives. But this is so above that 
with the with titanium and M390 at the same price point. I mean, granted, this one does have that just fall down action, but that's not much behind it. <laughs> and part of that's because this also has a really tall, heavy blade. So when it's that smooth on bearings, that heavy blade just closes itself. And this blade, you know, but it's not far behind it. Holy crap. These, I believe, are T6s. Pivot's going to be your T8. But I, I just, I don't know what else to say. I'm just, at this point, I'm just gushing. And I'm sounding like a complete fanboy or, you know, a girl gushing over a new Fendi bag or something. Are Fendi bags even still a thing? I don't know. Maybe they moved on to another brand now. But this is absolutely freaking gorgeous. I'm just going to go over all the screws, make sure everything's tight where it needs to be. But that is so sweet. <laughs> Some may want more of a flipper. I'll give that. Some may, because my finger, you may have just saw, I kind of misfired. I slipped off it. That's okay. I actually would prefer to make a little bit more of a pronounced because then it's it's because it's lower profile and it's angled that way so much um, as opposed to sticking out when you lean over. Maybe that sticks into your thigh because you're carrying it that way so it pokes into your thigh or catches on the corner of your pocket when you pull it out. I'd rather have it a little bit smaller and maybe just a little less grabby on your finger because that also means it's less grabby on your pocket. But goddamn, what a knife. I am so glad I bought that. I will put a link in the description. If you want an amazing sex, you know, you like a knife like the 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 clap from Lion Steel, but not everybody wants to spend $250 on a freaking pocket knife. I do, and I know a lot of people do, and some people are going to, you know, there's collectors out there that like, dude, that's nothing. $250 is nothing. I got an $8,000 custom, you know, all right, whatever. For the average Joe, most people aren't going to spend $250 on a pocket knife. Even though it's a great company and it's M390 and it's titanium and it's a, a famous knife designer and all that. They're just like, eh, I, I don't need that in a pocket knife. Not when something for, you know, 50 bucks will open packages just as well. But if you want to spend, get a little closer to that $70 mark. I, I'm sitting here the whole time as I'm talking. I'm like, what else have I reviewed? What have I looked at? What have I seen or even heard of that is anywhere in the ballpark of this? Under a hundred dollars. Just forget sixty nine dollars. Just say, okay, what's under a hundred? That is even close, dudes. I got nothing. I can't think of anything. Absolutely, one hundred percent phenomenal. Buy this knife if you like cool knives and you don't want to spend a ton of money. Buy this knife, the ST nine fifty five, or is it the nine ninety five? It's that. It's the ST995 from Citivian. Get it. You will, you, you will not regret it. You will not regret that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, folks.